Today we're asking a very serious question. Should limit head alcohol be a thing? Let's find out. So if you're a fan of my channel, you'll know I like to make regular meads, wines, ciders, beers, all those things. However, I also like to get a little silly. I fermented a plethora of weird alcohols, including Skittles, Starburst, Twizzlers, Sour Patch Watermelon, and many more things. This is just another experiment into the weird world of alcohols. If you want to make this brew, you'll need plenty of lemon heads. If you don't know what a lemon head is, it's basically a lemon candy. It's supposed to taste like lemon. Fortunately for me, Amazon sells them in a five pound container Today we're planning on making a lemon head wine and lemon head mead. The wine portion is just going to be the sugar from the lemon heads and the mead will have the sugar from the lemon heads and some honey. We started by creating a rough one gallon recipe for each and then bought a ton of lemon heads. I would say the most tedious thing about these candies is their wrappers. They're not really fun to open. I opened up all five pounds of lemon heads over the course of about an hour and then started to heat some water in a pot. I put all five pounds of lemon heads into about two gallons of water and melted them down. We made sure they were all mixed in well and then we let that mixture cool. We then took and moved one gallon of liquid into one container and another gallon into a separate container. The larger container was designated to be the mead so we added our honey to that brew and took a gravity reading. The wine starting gravity was about 1.054. I could have added more sugar to bring up the ABV, but I wanted to really just leave it as it was. The mead starting gravity was 1.082 because of all of that extra honey that we added. One of my biggest concerns with this brew was the pH of it. Obviously, lemon heads are meant to be sour, so I anticipated the pH to be low. I was really shocked to see it was roughly about 2.4. That low of a pH will probably lead to an unhealthy fermentation, and we want a healthy fermentation for this. So in order to raise that pH, we added potassium bicarbonate. We added about enough to get up to about 3.3 pH. Now this isn't exactly recommended because I had to add way more than I wanted. It will more than likely affect the end taste of the brew, so just something to factor in. We then pitched the standard champagne yeast, which is the Lauven EC1118, I needed something that would just ferment through sugar and be a workhorse, and that is truly a workhorse of a yeast. We closed our containers and let everything start fermenting. It did take a bit for the yeast to start fermenting, but they eventually did. Primary fermentation was about 20 days, and then I noticed it all stopped. At that point, we let it set for another week to clear, but I didn't really notice that it was clearing at all. We racked each into a new container and got our final gravity readings. Here are the gravities post-fermentation. I'm just gonna let them be as they are and not worry about any back sweetening because I don't think they necessarily need it. So, we've seen the progress of these brews. Let's see what they taste like. All right, here we are for the tasting. I have my wife here behind the camera to help with tasting. You you love lemon heads. I do. Okay, well, that's the main reason you're you're part <laughs> okay. of this tasting. You, cause I not knew, because I'm your wife. <laughs> no, I mean, that's, that's obviously, but I didn't want to give it to anyone else, any tasting to anyone else, because you love lemon heads. I do love lemon You were very heads. distraught whenever I didn't save a bunch of lemon heads. Well, yeah, you came in with like, I don't, how many lemon heads? Of like and five And I got pounds. like one. You got like five, thank you. I got you. one. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even eat them all, you ate one. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Anyways, so she's here, she likes lemon heads, um, which by proxy then you like lemon. That's the, because that's all a lemon head is. It's just lemon. I thought a lemon head was just sour. I mean, it is lemon. Mm, it's basically just lemon juice, <laughs> as I've learned from this experiment. <laughs> so in my right hand, or on this right side here, is the wine. And they're both still in their carboys. Um, how old are these now? These are... That one says one, two, five. Three months old at this point. Yep. And then the uh, mead is on this side. Let's start with the wine, since I feel like that's... A better base. Okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is like. What's it smell like to you? <laughs> I don't know. It smells like lemon head to me. I mean, it it's, does. It's but very... it's like very. Um, I mean, it's in your face. Yeah. <laughs> sour candy. It's very. It smells sour. The color of it's also. Um, kind of sketchy. It is very like luminescent in that it, look it looks a little, like you can put a light behind it and you'd be like, that's neon. Like that's the color it is right now. Hmm. Let's taste it. Okay. <laughs> 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 that's 
the sour. A little sour, yeah. It's real sour. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not enough. Um, I didn't, didn't really sweeten it exactly because it stopped sweet. Now I bet maybe over time as it's set. I mean, it's not that it's more. not sweet. It's that it's just like so acidic. Yeah. It just like hurts. Mm hmm. I mean, it's it's true to what a lemon head is. It's that sour. That's a warhead. The warheads are. Lemonhead's still sour though. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's not it's not bad. I mean, it is what it what it totes to be, which is a. Uh, for me though, it's not super. I got, I was expecting super bright, like a lemon, like actual bright, citric acid. Though. It is bright, but it's not as bright as I thought. Like, like you're actually biting into a lemon or something like that. That's not what I wanted. That would have been too much. I don't get the vibe. At least it's that. You don't. No. I don't know. I don't think. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great by any means. I do not feel prompted to make more of this. No. <laughs> but I don't feel prompted to drink more of this. <laughs> so out of ten, what would you give it? Well, here's the thing. Are you telling me to grade it like based on what it what it's Let's supposed to be? Let's do two scores. Out of, because if, it tastes what it like is. a straight up lemon head. I mean, okay. that's fair. So on so on the score side of like like did this achieve what you wanted it to? Uh -huh. Sure. It probably scores a nine. Now, as far as enjoyability, uh, three for novelty. <laughs> three out of ten. Okay. Three out of ten for novelty. That's fair. That's fair. If you, if I gave this to anybody and said, "Try this," without telling them, I think they'd be like, Bleh. "Yeah." But then you said, "Oh, it's lemon heads," they'd be like, "Okay, well, that makes sense." Yeah, for the novelty of it, sure. If I said this is a lemon mead, you'd be like, "I, I would be like, yeah, no, <laughs> no." All right, let's switch. To, or sorry, wine. That's the wine. That's Here's the, the wine. mead. So now we have some, um, hopefully, some honey character there. <laughs> also sour. Still sour. It's definitely sour. Woof. This one also ended pretty sweet. It stopped. It, at least when I'm recording, it stopped at 1.040. Did you oak it? No. Nope. Well, the end of it tastes... There's no... It's not oaked. It's, um... Maybe... I think it's start partially, like, re-fermented. Some. Like gone below that where it was because it was pretty dang sweet whenever I thought it was done. I just feel like I can maybe it's just that I taste the honey flavor better at the end of it. Then. Yeah, the honey does provide some nice side. I mean, it's like but like at the got very like warmth. End, I feel like yeah, but even, I feel like though even through, it's not as it's like bright, but it ends more sour in my opinion. But it has like a middle road that it's like got a little more warmth. Maybe. It still packs a punch. Yeah, I mean, it's still bright lemon head. Like, I I do like this more than the wine. Oh well, yes. Is less atrocious, <laughs> but it's. But I think if I I don't I don't think I want to drink my lemon heads. I think I want to eat them. That's fair. You don't you don't have to drink it. Yeah, I I would say that this is still not high scoring for me. What would you score it? Uh, as on uh, my two scores or just my yeah, enjoyability you're, you're score. knowing that it's lemon. If I said this is lemon head mead, I mean it doesn't taste like straight up liquid lemon head like the wine does. Mm. But yeah, so maybe a little bit less on that one, but maybe maybe slightly more enjoyable. More enjoyable. That's fair. I don't think it's uh, so for what they are. I think it's it is lemon head like to be expected. I, is it worth making a giant batch of it? I don't I don't think so. Especially since what I've learned is lemon heads are lemon juice and sugar or really citric acid and sugar and coloring so if you wanted to make your own lemon head version you could just like mix together those things and then label it that you don't have to boil down necessarily five pounds of lemon heads but someone had to do it so i guess i did it <laughs> i guess what would you do different uh, not do it again. <laughs> just not. I mean, I don't know that. I don't know. There's a way to make it necessarily more enjoyable. Maybe a little bit sweeter. But at some point, like, if you make it so sweet that it's just, like, I guess if you have a little bit of lemon taste with a lot of sweetness, maybe that'd be the way to go. I don't know. I don't really want to go back sweeten these necessarily. It's not, especially not worth the honey. You know, I'll, I'll go throw some regular sugar in that, but. I'll probably bottle them and then we'll, you know, let them sit for a while. But I do think they have re-fermented some. And I say that mostly because looking at the mead, um, there was a little bit of bubbling. It could have just been degassing or something. So overall, I, I would not recommend to go do it. You, you've seen the end result. Would you agree? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want more of this? No. 
There's just, if I'm gonna drink something, like if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna choose to partake mm -hmm. of something, mm -hmm. this is nice to try and for novelty yeah. purposes, but not, I mean, not these were, for enjoyable drinking. These glasses are probably like four ounce glasses mm -hmm. and I poured I maybe, maybe an ounce, maybe two ounces at max. And we've only drank maybe an ounce or she's drank even, you know, quarter ounce of that. So but it's a funny haha -ha sip, but <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So, although someone's going to, in the comments is going to say, I, I want to make this, feel free to do so, go for it. But um, this is, this is our opinion. So <laughs> that's it. I got more silly uh, candies coming um, in the works and some are really gross. Some are really also gross, but I guess you'll see. Some of you'll them see. look disgusting. Some of them look when you made them. like monstrosities <laughs> and I'll leave you in suspense for that. Thank you for tasting this monstrosity itself. <laughs> You're welcome. See you guys next time and cheers. Bye.